Hello. You. <laughs> How are we doing? Yes. So anyway, my name is only Ramsey, sort of like Sting or Cher. An old girlfriend of mine only referred to me as Ramsey. She had a speech impediment. So in bed it was, oh, Whamsy. <laughs> I was at a park. My friend turns to me and is like, dude, I'm so high. It feels like I'm in Mario's brother. <laughs> you're so high, it feels like you're banging Luigi. <laughs> I've always felt you can meet a woman pretty much anywhere especially the supermarket. So the market that I go to depends on the type I'm looking for. Like when I want an educated, attractive woman, stop and shop. When I, when I want a skank, I go to Pathmark. For Jewish girls, it's Waldbaums. And when I want a woman with nine kids, I go to Costco. Also, if you want a black chick, Pathmark. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Do you go to Pathmark? No, you look too lovely for Pathmark. I'm just, I'm just messing around. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> you would you would think that moving into the senior center with your grandmother would hurt when it comes to meeting women. It doesn't actually. It's helped. It turns out I'm the best looking guy in the complex. <laughs> and dating's become much cheaper <laughs> with uh, early bird dinners, <laughs> senior movie discounts, <laughs> and no more late nights. I'm always in bed for the starter wheel of fortune. <laughs> Man, I love you guys. Everyone's laughing. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, anyway, why do all mothers feel that their sons are so good looking? Bradley Cooper was on television. I turned to grandma and say, well, you know, if dad were younger, people would say he resembles him. She replies, oh, stop it, Michael. Your father was much more handsome. <laughs> grandma. Bradley Cooper won Time Life's Sexiest Man of the Year. So basically, her son is too good looking to be Time Life Magazine's Sexiest Man. If I were a movie star, I would definitely use stuntmen, but not only for dangerous acts, pretty much any scene where I wasn't sitting or standing. I just feel so old. Honestly, for me, 30 is the new 40. <laughs> My dog is 10, yet very energetic. So perhaps for dogs, 10 is the new 5. <laughs> I recently heard uh, this radio ad for women's shoes at Utopia. Shoes that look just as great in the air as they do on the ground, is what it was. <laughs> Awesome. Shoes that look great whether you're walking or getting banged. <laughs> Move over, Pathmark. <laughs> and make room for Utopia. I think once spring arrives, I'm just going to take a beach chair and sit outside of Utopia. <sighs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> It's so crazy. Last time I did this, um, I decided to smoke pot like an hour before it. I will never do that again. I came out, I was like, <laughs> it's just insane. You gotta be nuts. Like, I will never, ever, never do that. I'll do this again, but never that before this. <laughs> so anyway, um, at my job, I work with like just seven guys. And anyway, so one of the guys, <laughs> has been offering another one of the guys a blowjob almost all the time. All the time. Now, I don't want one. 
because the author would be nice. <laughs> I mean, I work hard. <laughs> what, I don't deserve one? Of course I do. Anyway, they, they say it's the thought that counts, you know? <laughs> so, the following is a list of NBA player names or nicknames which sound like they just fuck so hard. <laughs> Mr. Big Shot. Someone got it? Thank you. <laughs> the Manimal. Ladies, he's half man, half animal. I'm sure he fucks hard. <laughs> Tiago Splitter. That's the guy's name. It's not even a nickname. That's just his actual name. The Black Mamba. Thank you. And finally for anal, Clyde the Glide Drexler. <laughs> Folks, thank you so much for being great. My name is Ramsey.